Hello, YouTube. My name is LegoCop75. Today, we're going to let's play a Fallout New Vegas. And first things first, I'm going to turn down the volume. There we go. I can actually hear y'all. So we last left off, we had activated the gala event and dead money. And now it's time for us to make our way. Oh, oh, do, 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 do. I was gonna say it's time for us to make our way to the uh, uh just... Oh for the love of God. Okay, good. Come on, what is going on? <sighs> okay, everything seems to be working fine now. Alrighty, I don't know what... I swear to god, this is my only gripe with this DLC, is that shit like this happens. There we go. Even with mods, they can't help it. It's just... I'm down XP. Oh, no. I'm just gonna run away and hope for the best. Cause dear lord. I kinda wanna shoot stuff though, just so I can get more XP. That thing is broken. Okay, everything's bugged out. What the hell is going on? my lord. Okay, so do guns even work? Like, what is going on right now? Okay, guns work. Oh, dear god. Okay, something is very wrong here. Ghost Harvester in the ground. Oh, everything is bad. They can't even hit me properly. Oh, okay. That, yeah. I swear, this is the only DLC, like, this is my only issue with DLC. I love this DLC so much, but my god, for whatever reasons, a fucking sinkhole of just glitches and game bugs. Like, I don't understand. Let me, yeah, let me in disable anti-crash and see if that helps. Oh my lord. Let's, let's try that. Let's see if that helps. Because, like, fuck me, dude. Like, I installed anti-crash just to make sure it doesn't, you know, bug out on me. And now it's bugging out even harder. Yeah, let's try this save. If not, we're going to have to revert to a prior... Okay, everything is working better now. Yep, and 
multi crash. Like it helped initially, now it's like it ain't it ain't doing what I need it to do. That's so crazy. Actually, I didn't need to hit that. I didn't need to hit that stim pack, but I meant to do something else. sometimes. Oh, nice. There we go. 90 XP. What? I don't think that's correct. I'm just saying. Nope, oh, got him. Nice. It's nice to be able to shoot something without the need of that. Just the kill, like the kills and stuff. Ow. Lord Death Perk, amazing. Even more XP. Fantastic, okay. At least the game's stabilized now, that's all that matters to me. Straight up 40, 45 XP for that guy. I don't know why. Okay, now we need to go. I'm just gonna save. I'm just gonna save as often as possible because, like, I do not trust this game. It. <laughs> exactly what I mean. And now I need to activate. Okay, so we're gonna try that again. Are we still recording? Yes, we are. So, this is what I'm talking about. Like without anti crash, I cannot load. I cannot sometimes load into certain zones of the map without it just fucking crashing. It's it's so ridiculous. But we'll try again. If if it doesn't work this time, then I'm gonna. But I'm just gonna install the anti-crash mod again, and then force my way through. Oh. I loaded the save, and it crashed immediately. That's good to know. <sighs> so, now I need that mod in order to make this all work. Jesus Christ. Why? Why? <laughs> There's got to be something else in the mod list that's just really causing things to be all fucky. It's got to be. Okay. What 
the hell? What? Oh my god. Animation plugin. Dude, I have no idea what to do now. Well, I'm gonna have to just disable that, see if that helps. What is with this game, man? I don't understand. Is it because there's too many save files? Is that where the issue is? Because I've had that issue too. Where I just had too many save files and then the game just doesn't want to work in certain areas because too many save files on the save. Oh. The fuck? It's, oh, okay, so we're good. What the hell? So I was able to brute force my way through. Oh god. Another loading door. We made it. We made it. We're gonna keep on going. Just... Just save every step of the way. Sunken food. There we go. Finally! Oh my lord. That was a doozy. And not a fun one at that. Yep. Oh, hello. And sleepy time. That's a big old bucket of XP and level up. Nice. And we shall save because we're now in a new area and I want to make sure I have at least an anchor save. That's not an auto save. Nice. Oh man, science would be nice, but I really want to get energy weapons up. Junk rounds, no, no. Okay, what should we do for our perk? No, 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 no. Authorities pushing poor folks around. You gain plus two damage threshold and plus five critical chance against anyone wearing the faction armor of the NCR Legion or Brotherhood. Oh. Finesse. Oh god. Here and now is like the worst perk you can get. Just, I don't know if it was in the original Fallout games, but it's just a bad perk. Alright. Oh yeah. Yeah, Finesse is a really good one. There are other good perks, too, I want to get my hands on. Oh, Agility 5? And Guns 30. Oh, dear lord. Yeah.
Damn, what else am I going to need to get? I'm going to need to have a lot of freaking agility then to even get that perk. I might have to rearrange, reshuffle things, but for now, we're going to go with Finesse. Because that's a good perk. Terrifying Presence will have to be another day. Which is fine. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, okay. Oh, more money. Oh, hello. You inside. Can you hear me? Power is fluctuating. Emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. But that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything foreign, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here, shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still, my signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now as guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. You'll get there. Trust me, just need to wake it up. Oh my, that was real close. So I gotta go to the casino. Now for the very fun part of this DLC. But that's the casino! Uh oh. This is the past you're walking through. Few have ever seen it. No one else ever will. I worked hard to get here. It'll give me what I need before I leave, and they'll always welcome me back. Now, now, look for a way to make this ghost up. Mind it, it's got guests. Oh, does he literally just stand there? What the hell? So the thing with as actually no, as I mentioned before. These security dudes are very, very very deadly. Like even in power armor they will shred through you like a hot knife through butter. Like that. And also they're very perceptive too. Oh god. That solves our problem there. Oh, 
Oh dear. Excellent. So now I just need to change his guard pattern. I believe that's done it. No, that didn't do shit. Okay. over here. No, that's nothing. <sighs> oh, there, he's just there. God damn it. Casino security passcode. I'll definitely be taking that, thank you. Oh, someone drank themselves to death. I don't blame them. Inject adrenaline to cure exhaustion. That's funny. I guess if you're really suffering from sleep deprivation, this DLC you can do that. Oh, hard. What the hell? Oh, interesting. Nice. We got it. Yeah, that's the only other thing, too, that sucks about holograms is that you cannot kill them. <laughs> they are invincible. Hopefully, I could just sneak by or just. Really just run by. <laughs> Reinforced helmet, thank you. And that over. Can't go through doors. Oh, vodka. Well, that's, that's just a buy vodka, isn't it? Yeah, this is to go to the lobby, I think? Oh. Cool. 
sweet, another automatic rifle. Look at all that damn. The damn. I will take that helmet. Uh, there we go. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to run for the door. Cause I have to get over to that door over there to deactivate high alert security mode. Ah, well, I found the thing, so it's now just a simple quest to just blow that to high hell. Also, the automatic rifle here is actually the World War II weapon, the bar. Automatic. Rifle from World War II. Basically a heavy weapon machine gun. Programmer's Digest, I'll take. So now that security's been dealt with, we just need to... There we go. We're all set. Now it's time to do some gambling. And get irradiated. Up through. Emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere. Nice. Damn recordings. Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Maybe something can help you now, security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby, and we'll deal with you, friends. So this is one of the reasons why it's important to have a high luck in any Fallout game. Uh, mostly uh, these early games, because base luck, each point of luck, is plus 1% crit chance. Just how it works. Uh, Fallout 3, or Fallout 4 in, Uva in uh, 76, worked a little differently matter of fact you could actually have native crit chance outside of vats in fallout 4 if you had a certain drug active but that's only with the drug but um yeah for crit chance and combat like that very important however for however in new vegas luck affects your chances with gambling funny enough though there was actually a gambling skill in the first two fallout games and fallout tactics but um didn't really see a use for that in that game, but yeah. Well, you know, the higher gambling skill, the better you were at gambling. And you can just basically just farm money that way. But yeah. Uh, in this game, luck determines how, how often you win at gambling games. Uh, blackjack, highest, highest chance to get a uh, payout or get money back from games, so to speak. So we're going to be doing a lot of blackjack. I will try other games, though. See, see what happens. I like the spinning playing slots. Uh, let's do a max bet. Yeah. Yeah, we lost money. So normally, this game. Well, there we go. Now we made our money back. Oh, and now we're back to zero. <laughs> and now we're at, and now we're in deep. So yeah, uh, this machine here, not ideal. 
still says Las Vegas on it too, which is hilarious. So. However, they did put it Sierra Madre on here, so. Yeah, so we're just gonna exit. One armed bandit. And now we're gonna do blackjack. Oh, there's also a thing in the game too where if you reload a save, it will reshuffle the deck. So that each time. And uh, we win. Nope, I lost money. Never mind. And we win our money back. There we go. Let's double down. There we go. As simple as that. I'm gonna stay. There we go. See, blackjack with maximum luck. Oh, I was still a loss? What the fuck? You you have a really high chance of winning games. To the point where it's just, you basically make money. And the main reason why, double down, yeah, automatic win. Oh, or just break even, that happens too. Nice. But yeah, so, the, with, um, so yeah, you can gamble in casinos in New Vegas, really fun, and having a luck helps with that. Tremendously. Damn. However, with however most casinos, once you max out, like you only have a maximum you can get, you can win from the casino before they just kick you kick you out because they you know they don't want to keep losing to you. Um. The Sierra Madre Casino is unique in that if you max out, you get a special prize, and this special prize is fucking fantastic. Uh, let's see. Perfect. What the special prize is is a uh, a gift voucher for a thousand tokens or casino chips. Oh, I doubled down. Nice. Which is fantastic, but it means that every few days I get this voucher for a thousand chips, and it adds up. Because once you beat the DLC, you gain access to a vendor outside of the Sierra Madre. Alright, we hit 2500, now we'll get booted out. Get a complimentary gift. So yeah, we get a thousand tokens, and it, and we give, we receive that every three days. Which means every three days we get these a thousand tokens, which basically means we have infinite cash for these vendors. Outside of the Mojave, which means we can have infinite supply of stim packs, drugs, repair, you know, weapon repair kits. You know, super stim packs. And doctor bags. Which are fucking expensive. There we go. And now we're over encumbered by a shit ton. Okay. I don't know what other things we can get from the vendors. Like, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, it's just that. Cool. That works. 
honestly, all this wine I have is like... weighing me down. There we go. <laughs> Fucking... Got some vodka there, too. That's hilarious. But yeah, so we'll basically have an infinite supply of a lot of good, good high-value items that we can just sell to vendors for money. Like demolition charges, you know. 75 bucks, food, other things, just a lot of good stuff. Now, I don't know if you can buy Psycho from the vendors, and if we can, that'd be really helpful, because that's a drug that we need to use to make another drug. It'd be very handy dandy. So, yep, let's keep on doing some blackjack. This shouldn't take too long. Let me check my recording real quick. We are doing good recording wise. Okay, keep going. Bet max, deal. Double down. Nice. Okay, we just do this for a little while. I think once I get the next uh, tier. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to hit. There we go. Damn. Once we get the next tier, I'll end the video there. Because, like, this is just us gambling. Which I think is fine on YouTube. Like, it's it's not real gambling, so... Damn. Yep, yeah, I knew that was a gamble. Even with max luck, you still have a chance to just lose money. Like, it's not a guaranteed win, but, like, it it does stack the odds in your favor higher than it would be in real life. You know, to a point where it's, like, you can very easily win. And now we're just cleaning house right now because we're just hitting a hot streak. Until so that happens. Just stay. Break even. Okay. Phone almost fell. Jesus. I'm gonna stay on that one. There we go. But yeah. Just simple stuff like this. Yeah. Not to mention highly high luck too in Fallout 1. Really is good. And I might do a let's play of Fallout 1 for the channel as well, because that was fun. There we go. Now to get our next comps. Very, very nice. While I'm thinking of it, I can return cigarettes. Very careful not to buy more than one of these mods. Optics, calibration, optics and calibration. Now we just need reinforced components. Oh yeah, I spent some money on uh, stim packs and crap, so I've used up a bit of my cash. Also, you can um, turn uh, Sierra Madre chips into pre-war money, which is a shit ton of cash and weighs nothing. And sadly, this is the only place you can do that, so... Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is.
perfect. And there we go. cards they had to pull. break even quite a bit when it comes to these games. And then you have the automatic win right there. Ooh, I'm gonna go with a hit. There we go. Alright, we're get another complimentary gift. Very nice. And there's the voucher. Whoa. And that, that's our voucher right there. We just get chips. Fantastic, but we won't stop. We weren't allow allowed to not continue playing until we hit 10,000. Some casinos are different. Some are just eight or nine thousand or four, really depending on the quality and you know the revenue of that casino. Let's break even. hand like that, you literally have to break even with the dealer in order to even lose or, or you know, not win that round. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There we go. Double down. Break even. Alrighty. Damn. Double down. Yeah, at that point, it's basically an automatic double down because, like, you know, you'll get the right card you need to win the deal. So I'm gonna stay that hand. Nice. Now, if we can just get another. There we go. Break even. Okay. If I could just get another one of those. That's all she wrote. Feel you have reached the jackpot limit, but feel free to explore the other services here at the Sierra Madre. Been banned from the casino. <laughs> what a wonderful feeling. But yeah. So I'll probably be looking around extra careful for other stuff, like codes and whatnot for the for the casino. That way we can... ensure that, uh... Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, he doesn't have any caps and I don't have any caps. Really, the only way I could trade with him is for an equal value. Which I guess technically could ha could work. Like, I could do that. We 
try that actually. I'll try to get some free pre-war money. down to nothing. One more pre-war money from you. Ten caps his way. Okay. So I need to give him ten caps worth of... So oh, perfect. And there we go. Get 21 pre-war money in exchange for a bunch of alcohol and a knife. <laughs> All right. That is definitely a way I could go about that. I did not realize. Oh, that makes that really makes me feel bad now because I could have held on to that rifle, other rifle I found, and used repair, repair um, kits to repair it fully. Where's the purified water? gotten some more money for that. Alright. So I think I'll end this episode here. And then we'll pick up next time. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And hope to see you in the next one. Take care. And have a wonderful day.